you have personal traits that make up why you do stuff and they're really easy to identify. So I just went through this course and it really broke down how to do this simply. So I wanted to share it with you guys since we talked a lot about mindset. So guys, I'm glad to meet you. If I haven't met you yet, my name is Amina and welcome back for everybody else. And I am your life coach today. And what we're going to talk about today can really like pinpoint how you're going to build connections with others, how you can even find these traits in yourself and improve on them. Use them as your strengths, but also if you do want to change, if you want to evolve, you can uh, have a roadmap on how to do that. So we're just going to go over a few of them today. Uh, These could these are the most like the most easiest ones to identify. So we'll just say that. So these traits, everybody has them. Let me tell you that. But the, these are very dominant, especially in your life. So whatever you're going through right now, this might be your dominant trait. So I'll just name them. One is strength. You just like to be perceived as strong. A lot of your conversations, you're talking about how strong you are, how you're a protector, how you won't let anybody do anything to you or your family. Number two is where you are goal-focused, where that's the only thing that matters. You are self goal focus. It's all on yourself. You feel like you had to take the lead. You had to lead others to that goal. Number three, you are tribe focused. You want to do things in the benefit of the tribe. Uh, You want to volunteer. You want to um, become an intricate member in organizing that. You are tribe focused. Number uh, four, you are, um, uh, what would the word be? Uh, heavily influenced by your looks. Uh, You want to be recognized as good looking. You want to um, get yourself pampered up. You want to buy fine clothes. You want to be recognized as a good looking person. You like compliments. And the last one that I'm going to give you today is pity. You feel victimized by life. You feel victimized by your circumstances. You feel like um, nothing ever goes right, that you're not lucky. And I want you to use that one also. That one's the hardest one to really find any good from. But it can be good in the aspect that you might be more aware on what's going on in your life. And you can use that to change and be grateful for the life you have. And just learn gratitude from that. And really focus on what you want to do about it.